and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create an angry emoji in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start on the view of the smart guides and snap to point only. The rest is deactivated. I use the ellipse tool and I hold shift to have a circle. Let me center that. I'll change the color to a red. And now I use the ellipse tool again to create the eyes. Hold shift once again to have a circle, make it black. For now, I'll put it right here. I'm gonna play a little bit around with the size. I'll hold Shift and Alt when I resize it. Now I'll use the line segment tool to create the mouth. I'll have a black stroke and I increase the stroke weight. Let me align it to the center as well. And now I'll create the eyebrow with the line segment tool again. maybe to such an angle. Let me reposition that. I think it's a little bit too short. So I can use the direct selection tool to make it longer. Press A for that. Click on the anchor point and then drag only the anchor point. The eye, it's not perfectly round when it comes to the angry emoji. Maybe something like that would be better. I think that'll do. Now use the anchor point tool. Go to the center of the mouth and drag it upwards. That way we've got the curvature. And we create a slight curvature on the eyebrow as well. Maybe I'll readjust the eyebrow with the direct selection tool once more. Now let me use the width tool. I go to the center of the mouth and drag. Oh, maybe that was too much. Select it all, open your stroke menu and give it a round cap. So that way the mouth and the eyebrow now have rounder caps. But I need to readjust the eyebrow once more. So this is just a matter of taste. Just use the direct selection tool for that. And play a bit around with it until you found something that you like. And let me use the width tool here as well, but only slightly. I shift click on both elements. And then right click transform reflect. I use vertical, don't press OK, instead click on copy. This is our second eye. I drag it to the left holding shift. Now I shift click on the other two elements, so the eye and the eyebrow on the right. I group it with the right click and group, and then I align it to the center. Let me move the mouth a little bit upwards and then I move the face in its entirety upwards so that everything is in the bottom half. Maybe the mouth was a little bit too big, so let me use the width tool once more. But that's fine. And this is how you can recreate this angry emoji design in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.